<laughs> Kala! Kala! I've been calling you for 15 minutes. I've got those seeds for honey plants we talked about. I thought maybe we could plant them along the new alley and in a few weeks it will look beautiful. Are you feeling all no, right? I don't feel so good. I'm dying. Kala, you have a fever. Did you take any medication? I don't have a power to get out of my chair or to go to the pharmacy. Why do you want to go to a pharmacy? Ah, psych! Oh, sorry, sorry. When everything you need is right around the corner. Around the corner? There is an apiary, not a pharmacy, just an apiary. This is the best of all pharmacies, the Honeybee Pharmacy. Ah, psych! <laughs> Here, Kala, warm tea with honey and pollen just for you. You were supposed to break my decision. You just got them. These are experts in health and immunity system. You can say that they run a bee pharmacy. Uh, and what can they do good for me, except that is uh, delicious and warm? Let's start with honey. Honey is not only sweet and tasty, but it's really healthy for you. It has many vitamins like A, C, E, and minerals like potassium, phosphorus, iron, calcium, and magnesium, perfect for your cold. Mm. Vitamins are one thing. Uh, my throat hurts. Something scratching and uh, tickling. It's unbearable. That something is called bacteria. Honey has an antibacterial and anti-inflammatory effect. Additionally, gently numbs the pain. You will see how a spoonful of honey will soothe your sore throat. It will work as a honey bandage, and it also will kill bacteria. Bacteria killer. Of all the syrups, I think this one will be my favorite. And does it matter which honey we use for the treatment? In fact, all honeys are healthy. But you're right, some of them are better for particular disease. For example, linden honey is great for fever, and multiflower honey is excellent at improving respiratory function, like runny nose and cough. <gasps> mm, yes, it seems like it hurts less already. What else do we have in this bee pharmacy? Pollen and bee bread. They have a lot of protein, vitamins, and minerals. It's a multivitamin to strengthen the body. When we are sick, we lose our strength and our body doesn't have enough power to fight off viruses and bacteria. Pollen is what bees eat and is used for pollination. But I didn't know that pollen could be used as a medicine? A cure for weak immune system. Therefore, no matter if you are sick or not, it's a good idea to include pollen and bee bread in your diet. It will give power and strength to your body. And in addition, they improve your beauty like your skin, hair and nails. But uh, more beautiful? Be more beautiful? More? <laughs> uh, where's the pollen and the bee bread? Give me, give me, give me. Here you go. You can add them to yogurt, salad, cereal, tea. Or just like that, directly to your mouth. Basha, this is really tasty. When I get healthy, I will continue to eat pollen and bee bread every day. It's yummy and super healthy. I'm so glad you like it. Now let me introduce Propolis. 
propo what? I don't understand. Propolis. The name itself translates from Greek as city defense wall, means something that will protect us from outside attacks. Ah, sounds serious. More details, please. Propolis is the resin and balsams from trees that bees collect. By adding beeswax to them, propolis is produced in the hive. These very aromatic lumps are natural antibiotics. <gasps> An antibiotic? I guess you did some kind of bee prescription. <laughs> Not really. Bees use propolis to seal or disinfect the hive. <gasps> like liquids that can clean your hands of bacteria? Mm, similar. When bees have a draft in their nest, they seal the cracks with sticky propolis. And when they want to remove bacteria from a cell so the queen can lay an egg in it, they polish it with bee putty. Bee putty? You were talking about um, a propolis, please. Propolis is also known as a bee putty. It is antibacterial, antifungal, antiviral. Works great on wounds, burns and other disease and additionally it is boosting your immune system. Just dissolve a few drops in tea or just spray it in your throat. Wait, I should have a bottle with spray somewhere around here. Oh. I feel like I've eaten a beehive. Strange taste. Um, and it has a strong smell, like the forest in the morning. Not everything from the bee pharmacy can be eaten, but everything is very healthy. Have you seen matches anywhere? <gasps> matches? Uh, oh, no, 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 please, just don't, 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 don't. Why do you need these matches for? Calm down. I just want to light our beeswax candle. <sighs> beeswax has many magical properties. For example, it's moisturizing your skin. When we breathe in that nice scent, we are actually inhaling beeswax. And this makes the throat less scratchy and the nose faster forgets about being sick. Uh, I don't see any smoke coming from that candle. That's the magic of beeswax. It burns with a beautiful golden flame with very little and clean smoke. Burning beeswax purifies the air and it emits negative ions. Negative ions? And what's that? Mm, in other words, if you have a TV, computer, tablet and phone in your room, all of these things emit very harmful radiation to you. By lighting a beeswax candle, all those bad irradiated particles disappear. And if you light it before bedtime, it will calm your thoughts and will put you in a good mood, which guarantees colorful dreams. Awesome! I'm the biggest fan of the bee pharmacy! Uh, it really works! I feel so much better! Actually, I feel good! Let's go to the apiary! Let's go! Yes, let's go!